So in this video, let's take a look at the iPhone and how you can clear storage cache on this device. Let's get started. So there are a few things you should know about it. Like it doesn't work exactly the same way as on Androids, but you need to pay attention to it within the apps. For example, Telegram is a great uh, choice or an example, because if you go inside of the settings of the app, you can find the data and storage section. If you then go to the storage, you can see the breakdown, but also the option to clear entire cache. So this gives you the ability to clear storage cache within the individual application. And this is how it works on the iPhone. You can only find it within the apps. It's not like you can find it in the settings for every single application, like on the Android. You have to pay attention to it within the settings of individual apps. As I said, Telegram is a great example, but other apps may not work the same way. Obviously, you can go to the iPhone storage and have some options here, like you can offload apps, which is also another way of clearing the storage. Right, so if I find something as an application, for example, this Adobe Express, I can see the size of the actual app, as well as the documents and data. And it is possible to offload the app, which means that it will keep the documents and data, but it will remove the actual uh, app. So it might be useful. It's like a different thing, but I kind of had to mention it as well because it is kind of connected. But yeah, clearing cache for individual applications is only possible if the developers include it in their apps. So that's how it works. Most definitely let me know if you have any additional questions regarding this. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you later in the future uploads.